Hello students, my name is Monish, an instructor from the Student Inn. This class we will see the first lesson of regarding the IoT. So the, uh, this class, like today's class is regarding the introduction to IoT. So we'll see the basic introduction to what is meant by IoT and why is it required and why should we learn. And we'll also see uh, what is meant by networking and how networking helps in IoT and how networking uh, occurs in IoT, right? So let us start. So first, what is meant by this IoT? So have you heard the name anytime before? So before going to the definition, think of it like this. So for suppose in your home, think like for suppose all the physical objects. So physical objects means like TV, washing machine, uh, or like any uh, electrical devices like your fan and uh, your light, right? So that objects which require power or electricity to operate. So those are electrical devices and think these electrical devices or these physical objects. So why I'm calling this as physical objects or things because these are somewhat different from the uh, objects like, like somewhat different from the objects like laptops, computers, mobile phones, right? So how they are different, like these laptops, computers, mobile phones, mobile phones have some uh, processors or like they have some processors in it and they compute, right? They operate. So these are called as like electronic devices and these ha they have some compatibility to operate themselves. Like with computer, we can operate like a, uh, they have processors, they have memory storage, right? But these physical objects do not have any kind of, uh, of like, they do not have any kind of processors, memory storages, right? So that's why we are calling them as things or like physical objects. So like, uh, for suppose think in your home, like uh, physical objects like fan, light, TV, washing machine, and any physical object, right? Uh, are connected, like are connected, right? So connected in the sense your uh, those of physical objects are uh, there is a establishment of connection between those physical objects and they are able to communicate. So is this possible? Yes, of course this is possible. So how? Because uh, with your phone you can turn on your light or turn off your uh, fan or light, light. So again. Uh, with your phone, you, you can connect your washing machine or your TV and you can switch the channels in your TV using your only phone, right? So you connected. There is establishment of connection between your phone and TV, right? And even the TV is also connected to some of the fans, right? So if suppose if you're sitting in your hall and if you switched off your TV, even the fan also switches off. So it's giving some, it's passing some sort of information to the fan, right? So there's a transfer between uh, information between those two objects is taking place. So that's why this means that these objects are connected. So yes, this connection of physical or between these physical objects is possible. And this comes under what we called as IoT. And we, this IoT is called as like abbreviated as internet of things. So I think by the name, you got it, right? So Internet of Things. So Internet means like uh, the connection between different, uh, all like the connection between network of computers or mobile phones. So that comes under the uh, normal Internet, right? But this Internet of Things means the Internet, which actually isn't present between like the connection, which is, network or connection, which is in present between the physical objects. But this IoT makes sure that there's a huge network or a connection between these physical objects, right? So how are these physical objects connected to each other? So uh, will our fan, like does our fan automatically is connected to some light or TV? No, right? We have to do something with those so that they're connected to each other. So by we are do, so what we are doing is that we embed them with some sensors or softwares so that they become automated machines. So in order to make a physical object smart, 
so smart in the sense to make intelligent right so uh, to make smart or to make a physical object uh, iot device so iot device means i said told the physical object which can be operated or which are automated machines so those are called as in iot device or a smart device right so generally we called the physical objects which are embedded with some sensors or softwares as the smart devices or iot devices so uh, what are meant by the sensors or software so first initially if suppose if you take the example of a fan the initially the fan is just a fan it just rotates but if you embed it with some sensors so i'll be saying you what are sensors actuators in the coming uh, classes and uh, or if you embed with some software so embed means previously it isn't present in the fan but we are adding some extra uh, software or hardware to it so that is what meant by embedment so applying on the layer layer of that object is called embedment right so if we embed with that sensors of softwares then that fan becomes a smart device or iot device so we can also call them as the automated machines so why uh, we can make a fan so if we sit under a fan or just sit near to a fan the fan rotates and if we leave the room the fan turns off so it's simply like we have made the fan automated right to turn off or to turn on so that's what it means so again speaking the internet of things deals or describes the network between the physical objects or things this how the how this network is established in those physical objects these objects are embedded with some special sensors or software so that this become smart devices or iot devices or automated machines right yes so now you uh, you i said like i said uh, iot d means the describes the connection between or the network of physical objects but why what can we do with those network and why we need this iot so actually this iot aims to develop an internet connectivity between the physical things or objects right for before like before if we haven't embedded any sensors of software to any physical object it just uh, does its own uh, purpose right for suppose the fan just rotates but if we made the fan like uh, an iot device like embedding some sensors of software we made like we can make a connection between our phone and the fan and we can just turn off or turn on our the fan just using our phone so we made some uh, sort of connection so by uh, by this what we get like what the final outcome outcome we are getting it made our life simpler right so instead of moving and uh, getting from the bed and turning off the switch we can simply without moving we can switch off or uh, switch on the fan so it made our life easy and simpler and also handy for the users right so this uh, we can turn off or turn on the fan with mobile right so the mobile can be carried anywhere we want so in the if you are in other room also we can turn off that fan or turn on by using our mobile so it may this also make handy for the users so that's what this iot aims for so the iot aims for to develop an internet connectivity for the daily purpose devices or else the physical objects and make this devices smart devices and handy for the users right i said told we need a uh, internet of things because it makes our life simpler and today almost in our world like i think 50% of the devices uh, like more than 50% of the devices in our world are iot based and it's making most of the lives uh, most of the people lives simpler like uh, the drones delivering and operating with remotes to an uh, objects right so the connected objects so this all comes under the applications of iot and it's making the lives of the human being simpler and making them handy to use also right so as i said iot makes everyday objects smart by enabling to transmit data and automate the tasks so how we are making those iot uh, devices smart so what does this smart mean so we are making the iot devices smart devices right so 
by enabling them to transmit data, right? So the fan and uh, our phone can are able to transmit data. So suppose since there is a connection between our fan and our phone, that's why we are able to communicate or we are able to uh, tell the fan to turn on or switch on, right? If there isn't a connection, we cannot tell the fan. So making an object smart means enabling them to transmit data and also automate the tasks without any human intervention. So without uh, switching off the fan with a normal physical switch, we can also uh, with the IoT, we are able to turn on or turn off this fan, right? So it's making uh, the human lives easier. So here we can see uh, one of the application for the um, question, why do we need IoT in our lives? For suppose if you take a smart city, so smart city in the sense, uh, every objects in the city or every almost all the objects which are present in the city like parking meters and barriers or any dustbins, trash cans or any uh, vehicles, all these are connected and this all act as the IoT devices. So this connection between all the uh, objects, vehicles in the city will make them as the smart city. And today, all uh, some of the cities in our world are also termed to be as some smart cities. So uh, by the help of the smart cities, like the sensors in the parking meter, traffic signals and the barrier will give you an alarm showing you the right direction to prevent road accidents. For suppose if you are in a smart city, this parking meter will telling you like, uh, you're heading this, uh, you're heading for this parking meter, you should need to turn right after that. So it's giving some sort of information. Again, this barrier present here is also saying that, yes, you need to stop. It's the end of the path. And the traffic light is giving some information like it's transmitting data, right? So it's saying that uh, the light is about to turn yellow. So by the, because of IoT or the devices which are made to be IoT devices, right? So because of that, we are able to communicate or connect to different devices and these objects are uh, helping and preventing us to some uh, use cases like road accidents or falling apart. So if suppose this uh, barrier, if like suppose if this barrier is uh, have, have, didn't give any information regarding this, the end of the road, the, this person may be moving still, uh, still uh, moving forward and some other vehicle or some car may be hitting him, right? So it's also, this IoT will make the humans, uh, humans life easier and also helps, uh, also help the humans. So this is the example of the smart city, right? Now this IoT device can be a simple IoT device or very a complicated IoT device, like a simple device, like a health tracking device. So you know about health tracking device. So this health tracking device is also an IoT device which tracks our pulse rate, our meta metabolism rate, and our heartbeat and our temperature. So this all kind of this health. So it's just a simple IoT device and complex as a smart city. So the previous example we saw is also a, an IoT, like the all the objects are connected, uh, all the objects are IoT devices and it's very complex. So it's not so simple to make those many objects as IoT devices and connected to each other. So it's very complex to make a smart city. So what I'm saying is that an IoT device can be a very simple as simple one or it may be also a very complex one. Now let us see another example of using IoT. So we'll see the smart irrigation system. So this is also based on IoT, right? So here in the picture, what you're seeing is that it is a smart irrigation system. So how this is a smart irrigation system and how it's related to IoT is that actually uh, when, when we are going to like, do you know when we are going to irrigate uh, the plants or the crops present? So if there is a uh, decrease in the water level or moisture level in the soil, then we are going to irrigate, right? So what happens is that this smart irrigation system will automatically uh, 
uh, irrigate. So there are some water sprinklers present in the field and this smart irrigation system will automatically irrigate the crops and the plants if there is a decrease in the water level in the soil. So how it will be is that in the soil there will be a, a moisture level indicator or a moisture level sensor. So for this purpose the sensors are used, right? So in this uh, soil there will be a moisture level indicator or sensor and whenever this moisture level uh, indicator uh, detects a decrease in the moisture this sensor or this indicator will pass information to the water uh, irrigator or the water sprinkler that there is a decrease in the level of the moisture you need to start your irrigation so how we uh, how is going to send information so with the help of iot so as internet of things there is a connection between the irrigation system and the like the water sprinkler and the moisture level indicator and this indicator is there, passes the information as to uh, there is a decrease in the moisture you need to start your irrigation so as soon as it gets that information the water sprinkler will start seeds like watering all the plants and uh, again the soils will get moisturized right so by this way this uh, smart uh, irrigation systems works with the help of iot and not only smart irrigation system many uh, many other like the smart, smart traffic system smart city or even uh, we have like we have many one like even smart uh, smart shoes smart pillow you have very devices iot devices so these are all based on iot right yes